Tonight, Santa Claus is coming to town, and it's a visit many Appalachian children will never forget. Tonight, jolly old St. Nick will really make us mindful of the true meaning of Christmas. By the way, he's not coming in his sleigh. You see, Santa is very anxious to see these kids. And I guess you could say he's really making tracks all over southwest Virginia. Welcome aboard the Santa Claus Special through southwestern Virginia, bound for Kingsport, Tennessee. Every year, Santa Claus leaves his reindeer behind and boards what's been called the longest Christmas parade in the world, Pikeville, Kentucky to Kingsport, a distance of just over 100 miles. Once he gets to Kingsport, he'll join that city's regular parade, but right now, he's going to spread some Christmas joy to the children of Appalachia. Well, I get the satisfaction of watching the expression on the children's face, particularly the young. It, uh, it's so real and coming in the train that uh, it, it's just a different thing. About three tons of toys and candy are passed out by Santa's elves, who, by the way, are also members of Kingsport's Chamber of Commerce. They know Santa Claus pretty well, and every year they convince him to make a special trip just for these children. Well, Santa Claus loves all children, and it doesn't take much convincing. What do you see in the children's faces, you know, as you're throwing candy and things off to them? Well, you, you see uh, a little set of doubt to start with. And then as you get to talk to the children, you see that big smile come across their face, and they say, well, maybe I'm all food. <laughs> and after all, Christmas time is a time for joy. About 25,000 children lined the tracks of the Clinchfield Railroad, eager for the presents Santa has for them. Railroad officials don't really know where they all come from. Sometimes it seems they come out of thin air. They look forward to it. They come out of uh, areas where you wouldn't think there are any homes. Would be the places on the track would be the mountain on one side and the river on the other. There would be kids all along the track that are there. And sometimes uh, their parents or grandparents would be with them and we'll talk to them and their grandparents said, well, I used to do that when I was a kid. I used to come down and see the see Santa on the train. And it's sort of a tradition here. They look forward to it. The train's route is unique. The track follows basically the routes of two riverbeds, meaning gorges, bridges, and tunnels galore. Santa really has the best of both worlds, though he has the advantage of flying over this beautiful splendor. Actually, I think he likes the train better. Well, it's really, uh, you're in the lap of luxury because good meals, good uh, fellowship, and uh, beautiful scenery. How could you beat it? Even for Santa Claus, who has everything. Well, one thing he does have is names. Even though Santa's made his list, and he's checked it twice, he knows who's been naughty and nice. But even Santa was surprised at all of the nice people in St. Paul, Virginia. Well, of course, we like to think of the Appalachian area as not a depressed area, but one, if the coal mines are running good, then there's prosperity through these uh, beautiful mountains and these gorges that we're going through now. Well, he's in the Christmas spirit. What do you like about it? He's nice. And of course, it's a thrill to the children just to know that Santa Claus still exists is there every year. And Santa has uh, seen some of their mothers and some of their grandmothers over the years that he's uh, been here. Now, it takes a lot for Santa to go anywhere without his trusty reindeer. In this case, he's traded Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Donner, Blitzen, and Rudolph for about 3,000 horses. Somehow his elves got them all put into these two engines. For right now, we'll just call them Big Mac and Big Mo. Well, of course, transportation being what it is, you know, years ago, the reindeer was an integral part of it. But now in the uh, atomic age, and the picture of the jet age, Santa gets around pretty fast to cover all the territory that he has to cover. For over 40 years, Santa Claus and his elves have made this trip along the Clinchfield Railroad. They do it out of love, not just love for the Appalachian children, but love for children all over the world. Do you ever get tired of doing this? Not in the 38 uh, million years I've been doing it. I haven't been tired yet. Santa Claus just has a lot of energy, and he likes to extend it to the 
used to it, but the country, the young. Sometimes, Santa Claus finds just as many adults lining the track as kids. Well, it's no secret that Christmas brings out the child in all of us, but there may be another reason. For at least three generations, the railroad has been a part of the Appalachian community. The coal miners and the Clinchfield are very good friends. So at least once a year, two old friends get together and celebrate the Christmas season with the best known symbol of Christmas. Well, I guess more than anything else, just uh, the pleasure of uh, doing something for the people that uh, our neighbors uh, along about 100 miles of our railroad. They will uh, and, uh, look at trains, if there's anything wrong with the train, uh, they will signal the train crew. And they're just good neighbors, and uh, we just like to do something to be a good neighbor to them. This gives us a good chance to do that. Uh, we really appreciate people like this. It uh, brings a uh, lot those little children. They look forward to it all year round. Children here in Appalachia may see a lot of snow from time to time, but this may be the only time they get to see Santa Claus in person. Jolly old St. Nick has once again proven that you don't always have to have snow and a sleigh to spread the joy of Christmas. What do you think is the most popular present Santa passes out to the children? Believe it or not, it's those little notebooks of paper. The parents say the kids really like those because they can take them and use them in school.